My name is Matt, welcome to the shop, and this is going to be a rant. Uh, <laughs> so, someone sent me this, the video was put up yesterday, um, and this is an excellent example of someone trying to cash in on basically my specialty. I do motorbike videos on this channel about engines and stuff like that, but 90% 90, 90 of it is around motorcycles. We do talk about a few different engines and stuff like that. I love engines and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let's get on with it. Um, so this is someone trying to cash in on... Um, well, trying to cash in on doing videos in a niche that they think is missing. It's like doing Engineering Explained, but for motorbikes. Twats. And let me find I've just got to make sure I get the name correct. So this is urge to ride. This can only get so erect. <sighs> now, you must be joking. Oh, you don't like the whistle. <laughs> Just as I said, it is impossible to not like the whistle from a triple engine. But why do triples whine? Dripping. You can't. Brand new channel appeared out of nowhere. They are hiding their subscribers. Uh, because they're obviously quite low at the start. I have got nothing against people starting channels and stuff like that. All good, all fair play to you. When it's a commercial entity like you can tell this thing is. Shut up. This urge to ride. They put a video up 10 months ago on five reasons why we ride bikes. That was 10 months ago. Then they did another video. Uh, three months ago, and then it's one, two, three, one, two. They do about three videos, four videos a week. Any road, either someone sent me this saying, "Is this right? This sounds like crap." And this was the video. Um, this is why. Oh, an explanation video. So I'll play a bit of the clip. Even the engine to be as nice and smooth as Vin Diesel's head. Now you're probably wondering why the hell would I care about any of this? Well, the mythical whistle comes from how the counterbalancer shaft is connected to the crank. As you can see here, the shaft is connected to the crank through what's called straight cut gears, as opposed to the much quieter helical cut gears. If you ever went in reverse in the car, which I'm going to assume you did, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So this asshole, and he is an asshole because you start to do videos telling people why things do things, but talk shit while you're doing it. Fuck me. So this guy goes on and says that the Triumph and the uh, MT-09 stuff like that make this specific kind of noise. <laughs> this whining noise you can hear because of their prime, their um, balancer shaft because of the, the uh, rocking coupling, the coupling moment that three cylinders have, right? Now, he then orders, let me just get this straight, right? So let's see, is this true? He reckons it's the spur gears, he didn't say spur gears, but uh, the straight tooth gears, the spur gears um, that drive the balancer shaft. He's read somewhere that they whine, basically there's more gear noise, from spur gears. This is because, as he says in the video, because he's read a bit of Wikipedia, a lot more stress and whine. So they try and all the others use the noise shortcoming and called it character? Well, that's only half true. The issue with the helicals is they're more expensive because they're slightly more difficult. That the tooth on a spur gear between two gears runs along the entire length of the gear. So basically there's no contact and then there's contact. Not only that, his gears kind of bat together and clatter. Right, clack, 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 clack. And I'm going to show you a demonstration in the future, like always. Right, we'll get to that. Um, I'm printing a massive, a big, wait, it's here. I'm printing a part, I'm nearly finished, but I'm printing a big gearbox. Right, a big gearbox. These are big fucking gears, um, as you can see with the selector on and all that shit. I've been working on this for ages. This is the stuff I do in the background. They're all colour coded, a bit like the miniature one for the H2R. Um, and I've got gears coming out of my fucking ears. <laughs> There's uh, parts of selector rings, selector forks, all sorts. As you can see, loads of fucking gears. 
Uh, even the bushings, there's a bushing look. There's a bushing. All different colours and stuff. Yeah. Any road, so his, what these gears do is they kind of do that as they turn. They don't wobble, it's just that there's a drive from one and it kind of passes the momentum onto the other. But these things do this. And I'm going to print some helical ones. Helical ones, what they do is they kind of, instead of coming in, instead of coming in like that, bang, they, they gradually, they roll. They roll and push against each other. And you can always tell the difference. Uh, spur gears have their teeth like this, perpendicular, perpendicular to the face or axial and running along the axis and helix. So this is a spur gear. This is a helical, helical gear and they're at an angle like that. This angle is 20 degrees ish, something like that. It depends what gears they are. Uh, and you get stuff like mitre gears and bevel gears. That's a totally different kettle of fish. There's herringbone gears. Yeah, there's all sorts, but we'll get to gears eventually, like with everything else, we'll get there. Um, but yeah, and helical gears, because of this point contact, or this rolling action, as they roll together, they're a lot quieter. Um, so he reckons, because these have balancer shafts, that's where the wine comes from. Apart from the Z900 I have, has a balancer shaft with a gear right next to the outside of the engine. And it does make gear whine. You can hear it around about 7,000 RPM. If you lean your head right above the front of the back, you can hear this little whining going on. Gear whine from uh, the Z uh, SV1000 or the VFR stuff like that, you can hear that because basically there's a very thin section of rocker cover in your head and then the gears sit here like this um, obviously they should be touching <laughs> kind of fuck that up but you get what I mean they're very close so any noise that's made you can hear it right and the other point I have is this is he says oh so this is the reason because of these gears because of these triples have this very particular thing not bad. <laughs> the triples, the four, like I say, the Z900 is a four-cylinder engine which has a balancer shaft. And you can hear it at 8,000 RPM, not when you just sit there and rev it. Your uh, clutch. There's a clutch up there, isn't there? Yeah, there's a clutch up here. I've got fucking shit everywhere. Right. This is the clutch basket. Or this is a clutch basket for another video we're doing in a couple of weeks. This is another clutch, this is a clutch basket. As you can see, that is a straight cut tooth gear for the primary reduction. Um, all primary reductions, not all, I think there's one, no, I think all, all primary reductions are spur cut gears. To my knowledge, there might be one or two that aren't. Actually, no, there is one or two. I can't remember what the CX500 is. But they're spur cut tooth gears. Never hear any gear wine off any other engine. This clown has read something, put two and two together, and made a video. Do you know what I am? You what? Do you know what I am? Do I care? Well, you won't know when I fucking when you pull up. Come on, who are you then? When a bickering. Who? When a bickering. <laughs> and it's complete fucking nonsense. Uh, the other stuff he talks about balance and stuff. Uh, yeah, to a degree. It's just a lot of fucking word salad to fill out the video to make it sound like he knows what the fuck he's on about. And then he says, oh, one of my, uh, the, the, the ones that make the most wine are the Triumphs. And then it's the BMW K75. If you actually look at the BMW K75, the crank is here. Oh, fuck it, I've bodged this up. The crank is here. All right, we have fucking, what is it? Like so. And the fucking balancer shaft is down here. Right, it's bloody down there. It's not even like that. What the fuck am I doing? It's actually a proper... The balancer shaft is down here, buried in the bowels of the engine. The fucking head's here. And then this is all down here under your sump and stuff like that. Then your air box sits on top of it. It's buried in the bowels of the engine. And you can hear that more than you can hear an MTO, uh, MTO9 
or the MV, right? Fuck off. I find the Street Triple and Daytonas to be the whistliest, um, followed by the BMW K75. <laughs> and the Yamaha CP3. The others usually try to engineer it out, like MV Augusta, where you can't really hear it well unless your ear is kind of tuned to pick it up. I feel epic does not do it. That is incredible. <laughs> you listen to the MV, you can hardly hear it. Um, one of the things that you can hear, all engine noises, um, or engine notes in a sense, uh, waste, sparks, stuff like that. They do try and do different things to get different noises out of engines, right? And a lot of the time, the thing that's very hard to explain about engine noise is that the engine itself or the combustion of the engine can hide other things that you can't hear. And this is where the three cylinder comes in. What you have is you have um, a 240 degree uh, firing event between each uh, cylinder. And that's a massive, massive uh, degree to go through before you hear another bang, basically. So between all the pop, 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 pops, you hear other things that you wouldn't normally for a, a normal straight four. So for a straight four, straight four it's 180 for a four cylinder four stroke right for a straight four it's 180 with this 240 thing going on there's an awful lot more there's what 60 degrees of motion so basically it goes quiet so you'll hear a pop 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 and all these other noises in between you can hear where with the four cylinder you get a pop 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 kind of like that and it disguises some of these things that you won't hear. So all this noisy shit in here, and all, half of this noisy shit, you won't hear. It starts to cancel it out, so you don't get to hear things. It's like, you know, <laughs> where have you got this shit from? There are, you know, it goes on about, it's the, 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 the straight gears. And here's this the example of a car reversing. The entire gearbox is straight gears, and half of your gears, even when it's in neutral, half of your gears in your gearbox are turning. Your primary reduction, if your engine is running, is always turning. You can see how many gears spin. It's this one, these two, this one, this one, these two, and this one. Bloody hell, fire. Fucking hell. God, that's a bit shit. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, I think that's a bit loose. Clutch in or out, it's always turning. The Z900 doesn't make that whistling noise. And it basically has um, a balancer shaft too. This spacing between cylinders as well, this three cylinder, and this bit is only speculation on my part, is the fact that there's probably a bit of a venturi going on. So your exhaust system, you get a, a, a cylinder fire and then it draws air back in once this pressure wave has gone past. It blows out and there's a bit of a suck back. It blows out a suck back. And that will probably create a, like a whistle, a whistling note. As soon as these guys change their exhausts though, and there was a guy with an MT-07 who changed his uh, MT-07 um, air box. Sounds good. That also made a difference. The acoustics of engines, you know what I mean? He's just heard gear whine, read that somewhere, thought that's why the Triumph sound this way, because they have this balancer shaft. Well, loads of engines have balancer shafts, you fucking nugget. Nearly all modern single cylinder 125s have balancer shafts. Don't hear gear whine like that. Shut the fuck up. Dripping with autism. Woo! It annoys me because these wankers are undoing what I'm trying to do, which is to, they're, they're making it more difficult. And these fuckers have just appeared, you know what I mean? And they're just making shit up. That, li that video literally says why. And it pisses me off because I'm trying to undo or 
trying to help people by saying, look, this is really what's going on. This is this, this is this. Um, stop trying to fucking, you know, stop wrecking your stuff by cutting holes in your airbox. You have no idea what you're fucking doing. Stop wasting your money on these products because literally this will work and you'll be fine. And, you know, stop doing this or do this or here's a guy to watch or here's a thing that will help. All of that that I'm trying to do and people ask me these questions and I'm trying to do this. And these fucking Muppets are just making shit up. Now, it doesn't matter. You know, this isn't in the realms of Brock or Della. Or it's like taking a radiator cap off when the bike's fucking hot. But it's just annoying. It's like he goes and laughs at comments. He laughs at comments of people what they think it is. Things that I heard as reasons in the past. The chain is too tight on those engines. The water cooling system. <laughs> The crankcase vent impeller, the cam chain noise, chains don't whistle, the timing belt on the Desmodromic, okay, this guy's lost, someone needs to take him home. Everybody knows you never go full retard. The source of the wine is coming from this very shaft and the way it is connected to the crank. So next time Dave, who's as academic as a premiership footballer, tells you that triples wine because of a fourth cylinder with a piston that rotates at the opposite frequency of the other three, you can call him out. You went full retard, man. I don't know how he's done before the video. That's, I think what's happened is someone has asked on a forum. Loads of people have had a stab, and that's fine. Loads of people have had a stab at guessing. Some of them will probably say, no, it's this. And then he's laughed at that, thinking, I know what it is. Gone for it, and then now he's going to look like a fucking tit. Well, good luck with that. Hope to see. I, there's a few more of their videos. Nothing looked too promising to take the piss out of. But... Um, yeah, yeah, so that's another channel. This Urge to Ride is another channel, you know. If you see anything fucking gold on there, send it my way. Um, <laughs> it does annoy me. It's not about... It's not about views and stuff. It is about views when they're telling people absolute bullshit. Because then someone comes on to one of my videos and starts fucking wasting my time saying, telling me how it is. Then they end up pointing to one of these videos and going, is this right? And the beautiful thing was, it was three guys that sent me this link to this video saying, Matt, is this right? That's brilliant. It doesn't mean that I, I will fucking point out exactly why it's bollocks. It doesn't mean you should believe me straight off it, but use your own fucking head. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is it's great that people are questioning this stuff. And I looked at the video and it had 107 likes and two dislikes. One of them did me. You know what I mean? It's... 107 likes people are watching it going great information it's not when it's bollocks and bullshit is useful to nobody <laughs> don't know why i said that so seriously i hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit